I am. Please help us appreciate the efforts of all involved in tonight's contest, players, coaches, and umpires. Now for the starting lineup for Linden, as announced by Corey White. Kale Stapleton is the pitcher. Corey Benelton, right field. Matthew Carroll, third base. Cooper Moore, second base. River Linestrat, shortstop. Tristan Thomas, catcher. Lane Simonson, first base. Austin Tomlinson, center field. Jaden Oates, left field.
Number 25, Jesse Harward. And on the bump tonight for Bellingham, Ty Nelson, number nine. And behind the dish, number one, Joe Harward. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats if able. Our flag is off to the right field side behind the batting cage for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Bayhawk Park, the home of the Bellingham Bayhawks. It's Uncle Mike. I'm running double duty tonight. You probably heard me do the starting lineups. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I can sit here and talk to you guys all day long, but doing both is a little tough. So I'm going to do both to get started. I'm going to see if we can get hooked up here. We're okay. Leading off for Linden, number 42, the pitcher, Kale Stapleton. All right. All right, Kai Nelson's on the bump for Bellingham tonight, and Kai and Joe are ready, and here we go. Strike one called, great curveball by Kai, and that's what he's got to have tonight. This is going to be a Donnie Brook. It's going to be everything we can have and muster. This Linden team, as we all know, is very tough. Ball hit hard to Good Buffalo. Foul ball hit him. Umpire was right on that, off of his foot. No balls, two strikes on Stapleton. 
He's a long, lanky young guy. We're going to run the scoreboard. <laughs> ball in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Beautiful night here in Bellingham. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Bounces out of Joe's glove. Up, oh, They call it a foul ball. Wind's blowing in a little bit. Kind of down the first base line toward home plate. One ball, two strikes on Stapleton. Ty Nelson's been battling all season long. Bayhawks are on a three-game losing streak. Strike three, looking, what a pitch right there by Kai Nelson for out number one. Strike called. Now batting for Linden, number 18, the right fielder, Bellington. Ball inside. One ball, one strike. Ground ball hit to Jesse. Jesse scoops it up, throws it to Kai. Kai's got to work hard. He makes it over there to make the play at first base for out number two. Next up for Linden, the third baseman, Carroll. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Matthew Carroll and Kai Nelson, they've had battles. Woo, great pitch by Kai. Yep, called strength. They've had great battles throughout the year. Ground ball to Jesse, unassisted, tags first base, flips it to Joe, and that's out number three. Three up, three down, no runs, no hits, no errors, no Linden runners left on base after Half an inning, tied up 0-0. Zero, zero. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. Trying to get all my stuff together here. I apologize for the weird introductions. Trying to announce, run the national anthem, and do our TV show, our broadcast. Again, this is an MMB Broadcasting Network production of high school baseball. Live at Bayhawk Park, it's the Linden Lions versus our hometown boys, the Bellingham Bayhawks. Never fear if you hear about David and Goliath, because this is definitely a David and Goliath type of story. Linden here in their blacks with green numbers, and the Bellingham Goliaths in black, David in their home whites. Going to have to be one of those types of days for us to be able to pull it together. Leading off for the Bayhawks in the first inning, Number nine, the shortstop, excuse me, the pitcher, Kai Nelson. There we go. He's the shortstop. But he's pitching tonight, and he's doing a great job. Ball high. Stapleton is a, is a, a hurler. Easy for me to say, Brock. 
Man alive, I'm glad Brock's here to set things up. There's a strike on the outside corner by Stapleton. Long, tall, young guy standing there, his gray pants, black top. Foul ball. Kai has been on a tear. I guess I don't want to push stolen base. He's not a stolen base guy. One ball, two strikes on Kai. As I said, Kai's been on a tear. He's really been adding to it. Boy, that's hit hard down the left field line. Foul. And we start out right away with a Lewis Auto Glass foul ball moment. <laughs> Brought to you by Lewis Auto Glass, the home of foul ball repair. Bellingham, Linden, and Mount Vernon. Swing and a miss by Nelson for strike three. Step to the plate for Bellingham. The catcher, number one, Joe Harward. All right, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Joe's moved up in the order, batting in the second spot. Strike on that outside corner. Nice pitch right there by Stapleton. Thompson behind the plate. Thomas behind the plate. Outside. He moved out there a little bit further. Stapleton hits the glove real well, which is going to be handy. There's a reason why these Linden lines are as tough as they are and they win as many games as they do. Wind and pitch. Ooh, outside. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Stapleton rocks and fires, swinging and a miss on the ground. Gets away. Joe's hustling. He's got to hustle. Oh! Ooh, that's a rough call right there. Joe cut on the inside for out number two. He's entitled that inside. That's his lane. Now batting number 34, Joe Toof. Two outs. The two first steps to the plate. And he drives the ball hard to third base. Third baseman scoops it. Matthew Carroll throws across the diamond for out number three. Three up, three down. No runners left on base. No errors by Linden. After one, 0-0. Zero, zero. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. Uncle Mike here with my sidekick, Brock. I'll be right back. Now batting for Linden, the second baseman, number 22, Moore. First name's Cooper, just for you, for you folks. Cooper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most of them are. It's just when I'm under pressure. Kai rocks and fires for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Beautiful night in downtown Bellingham right here on the corner of Ohio and Cornwall. Ball in the dirt for Kai for ball two. Joe jumps out in front, grabs a hold of it, throws it back over to Kai. Right here on the corner. Baseball fields change. Beautiful ballpark here. 320 down the lines. 335 in deep center field. It's definitely a hitter's ballpark. Ball, curve ball, low for ball three.
Got to get fired up tonight, folks, because this is a big one. Like I said, David and Goliath, great pitch right down Cornwall right there by Kai Nelson for strike one. Three balls, one strike. Great first inning. Moore's ready. Oh, that was a strike just an inning ago, but it's ball four. Step in the plate, number seven, the shortstop, Langstrat. Pretty good lead by Moore at first. Looking for the bunt. Oh, gets by Joe. Got by Joe. Stolen base. Nope, that's a stolen base. That hit him in the glove. That was a strike. One ball. Moore's going to get a little bit bigger lead at second. Puts runners in scoring position tonight, and I can guarantee you they're going to score them. So we're going to have to hit the ball. Langstrat's ready. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball, one strike on Langstrat. Another tall, young guy. This Linden team is tough, 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 and they're young, young, young. We got a young guy that's been moved up. Owen Hanstead's playing shortstop tonight for us. I'll go over the infield here in just a second. Sorry that I haven't done that yet. Owen's a great shortstop on the JV, moved him up. Oh, inside for a ball. Umpire strike zone was really good at that first inning, and now it's gotten a little more narrow. Owen Hanstead playing second base, or third, shortstop. He's at second, in and out with that. Runner there at second base. Popped up right side. That's going to be a fair ball. Nice job. There goes. He's going all the way to third. No cut. Going to have to knock it down. And they knock it down. He's at third base. Great play right there by Fickland in center or right field. Are they asking he left early? Yeah, no call right there. Thomas. Now batting for Linden, number 10, the catcher, Thomas. Tristan Thomas steps the plate. Runner at third base. One out. Ball high. One ball, no strikes. Like I said, that Bayhawks have been on a little bit of rough grind here the last week. Ball got down in the dirt. Ball two. Very, very tough schedule right now for the Bayhawks. Oh, great pitch right there. Nice curveball. That froze Tristan. Two balls, one strike, one out. Popped up right side. That is a Lewis Autoglass foul ball moment. It was really funny. We didn't have hardly any the other night. Two balls, two strikes. Lewis Autoglass, Linden, Mount Vernon, and down on State Street right here in Bellingham. Go by and say hi. Let them know you heard us right here on M&B Broadcasting. 2-2 two -two pitch. Guy rocks and fires. Swing and a mess. Strike three. Great pitch right there by Kai. He needs to be jacked up a little bit. Two outs. Runner at third. Now batting the first baseman, number five. Simonson. Lane Simonson. He is the number one pitcher in the Watkins or excuse me, the Northwest Conference. Not just Whatcom County, but he is a stud. He's playing first base tonight. Two strikes. Kai just bows his neck. Little David action right now against Goliath. Runner at third base. Let's come and get him. Come on, Kai guy. Wind and pitch in the dirt. Great 
giveaway pitch right there. Nothing too fine. Joe blocks it really nicely and keeps it in front of home plate. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the second inning, Sun is right in the eyes of the catcher and batter right now. Popped him up. Back goes. Here comes Tooth. They're going to make a play. Oh, nobody makes a play. Mm. Base hit. And an RBI. Cannot give Linden an inch. This kind of stuff is the stuff that will kill you. Who is it? Number three, center fielder, Tolsfin. Ball low. One ball, no strikes. One nothing, Linden. Ball just was a dying quail. Just died right there. Just right in between, right in between Eric. Ficklin couldn't come and get it. Long run for Joe Tooth. Strike on a swing. One ball, one strike. One run by Linden. Good lead at first. Inside ball. Two balls, one strike. Bellingham has had to work through a lot of adversity so far this year, and they've done a really pretty good job of it. Line drive. Let's see if Eric Eric comes and makes a play. Oh, he goes a long ways. Oh, they got him at first. Great throw by Eric. He went the long way instead of going to second base, and they got the out that we needed for Linden. One run on one hit. One runner left on base and no Bayhawk errors. After one and a half, it's Linden one, Bellingham nothing. I'll be right back. Jake True steps in the box. Welcome back. Bayhawk Park, beautiful Bellingham, Washington. Today, anyway, a little breezy, not bad. High for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Foul ball, another. Lewis Autoglass. Bellingham, Linden, and Mount Vernon. Stapleton's ready. He's rocks and fires. One ball, one strike. Jake fouls off another one. That one stays in the yard. The reason why we've got so many Lewis Autoglass foul ball moments, the Bayhawks are swinging the bats. The last couple ball games, they've been a little silent, even though they haven't Strung together a hit yet. They're swinging the bats. They're not just leaving it on their shoulder. One ball, two strikes on Jake. Number down the first base line. Picked up by Simonson for out number one. Now batting the first baseman, number 25, Jesse Harward. Big Red steps into the box. One, two, five. Strike one. Yeah. 
Big Red defensively has just been killing it. Hard hit. There we go. There we go. Big Red needed a base hit. Let me just tell you, I can't tell you how hard I was just praying right there that the big guy would get a hit, come out of this. We spent a lot of time taking BP today. My arm is sore. I haven't thrown for a long time like that. Oh. Now batting the third baseman, number 11, Eli Good Buffalo. Eli Good Buffalo, Jesse with a fairly good lead. Stapleton's ready. Ooh, out. That was a great frame by that catcher because that was outside a little bit. Good job by the Linden Pit catcher. Thompson. I'll get all I'll get all of them. Good Buffalo's ready. No balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Lazy swing. Chased that outside pitch. No balls, two strikes, one out. Jesse at first. Ah. Oh. Base umpire called the strike three. Mm. Now batting for Bellingham. The second baseman, number six, Eric Hellfield. The kid steps to the dish. Two outs. Jesse getting a fairly good lead at first. Ball inside. Great job by Tristan Thomas, the catcher. He's got a great frame. He rolls that wrist right over, gets it right inside that strike zone area. Makes that umpire really think about it. One ball, no strikes. Jesse, Jesse wasn't off very far, but he flopped like his favorite friend, the whale. One ball, no strikes. Hard hit ball, left side. Could be a trouble. Shortstop has to come and make a big play. Whoa, a long throw across the diamond. A great throw by the shortstop, Langstrat, for out number three. For Bellingham, no runs on one hit. No Linden errors and one runner left on base. After two, it's one nothing Linden. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. Joe's throw down a second. Nice throw. There we go. We got Jaden Oaks. Leading off the top of the third for Linden, number 15, the left fielder, Oaks. Put the position. I put. I put the number hitter, number nine hitter, huh? Dang it! Oh, I'm live on the air. And that was one ball, <laughs> and that's a swing and a miss for strike two. Uh, yeah, I'm listening to Brock in my ear, and he's barking at me because I put the wrong number in the lineup for game changer. So, hard hit ball left field. Oh, Owen Rasmus has got to go back, 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 back. Oh, and he makes the catch up against the fence, and he runs right into the fence. He makes the catch. He caught it. He's out. He was out. He runs into the fence. The umpire is running out. He's out. Yeah. Great catch right there by Owen. All the way into the rack. He had to go back, 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 all the way against the fence, collides in the fence, and makes the catch for out number one. Owen Rasmussen 
What a play right there. Great hustle by that home plate umpire. I, I, I got their name somewhere. <laughs> Great play right there by him. Corey White's asking him, the manager for Linden, asking him why he's got that angle. That's his call. That base umpire's way over there. Came to the ground. Corey's barking for everything. Now batting for Linden, number 42, the pitcher, Stapleton. And Owen looks like he's okay out there in left field. Corey, Corey White, the manager for Linden, was giving a hard time to the umpire because he thought that Owen had dropped it after he hit the ground, but he came down with it. Stapleton is up and ready. Ball in the dirt. Wind's picking up a little bit more, kind of getting breezy from the right field side, coming down toward home plate. One ball, no strikes. Inside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. That ball of Kai's is dying right in front and it's really tough. This turf is not the easiest thing to catch curveballs or sliders on. Wow. Three balls, no strikes. Umpire only had two balls. Only one out. Yeah, only one out. Oh! Good pitch. I thought the umpire strike zone definitely had changed. Three balls, one strike, one out. Kai rocks and fires. Ball hit hard down the right field line. That is going to go up against the fence. Foul. Three balls, two strikes. Stapleton swings. I mean, everybody on this Linden team swings a really good stick. That's just an oxymoron for me to say that it's not a really good swing. Kai Nelson ready. Stapleton ready. Rock and fire. Hard hit ball. Left field. Owen Rasmussen again makes the catch. Woo-wee! Oh, and Rasmussen is just making a career out there tonight, having a career defensive night in left field. One little blooper. Be Be Bellington. Bellington. Number 18, the right fielder, Bellington. Ball. Well, Can't wait for Ras to get here. <laughs> Ball high. Yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, he's probably two balls, no strikes on Kai. I mean, on Corey. Gordy. There's one down the pipe. Two balls, one strike. Corey has just been outside. Gordy has just been an unbelievable athlete through his youth and middle school. High for ball, and he's got some wheels. Number 44, third baseman, Carroll. Don't make life any tougher, Brock. Big lead at first. Gordy had a big lead there at first base. Hard tag by Jesse. Matthew Carroll at the plate. Matthew's another really good thrower. 
popped up. Trouble, trouble, trouble. He drops it. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, no, that's in there. Um, I don't know. You give him a base hit. Number 22, the second baseman, Moore. Eric didn't touch it. Olmstead did. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It don't matter. Eric should have had it. Oh, I'm on the air. <laughs> oh. uh, Olmstead. Hard tag by Jesse. Carol's got a big lead over there. Kai's keeping him close. Yeah, I don't, he hasn't thrown a pitch. Yeah, they're mad about the way Jesse's tagging. Corey White, he'll he doesn't like anybody else that umpires or referees to or coaches to argue about anything, but he definitely argues about pretty much everything. Kai hasn't thrown a pitch yet. There's been all sorts of action right here because of the way that Jesse tags. And Matthew's got a huge lead. Got him! Oh, man, alive. He's in the wrong spot to call that at third base, by the way. Base runner goes to second. Ball low. Two balls, no strikes. Outside for ball three. Once again, an infield pop fly falls in for a base hit. Or an error in that situation. And moves these Linden guys around. You cannot make mistakes against great ball teams. There's a strike called. Good pitch by Kai. Three balls, one strike. Moore's ready. Nelson rocks and fires high for ball four. We had a spot to put him. The third baseman. Sorry, the first baseman. Oh, Langstrat. Shortstop, Langstrat. Outside for a ball. Kai is a little bit rattled right now. One ball. No strikes. Bases are juiced. Every pillow's got a runner. There's a strike. Good pitch right there by Kai. Get yourself out of this one. Kai rocks and fires high for a ball. Just a little up today. Third inning. Two one count, two one pitch on its way. Good curve ball right there. Two two twos across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 
Hey, get excited at home if you're sitting there in downtown Tacoma or Seattle or somewhere in Utah. Oh, ball high. We appreciate everybody watching. Leo, if you've been trying to text Grandpa, Grandpa's phone's dead. <laughs> Just a shout out to Lowe. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Nowhere to put him. Got to come and get him. Kai rocks and fires. 3-2 pitch. Runners are running. Ground ball, third base. Good Buffalo picks it up, throws it to Jesse, and they get out of the inning. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. That was a close one, folks. No runs on no hits. There was one Bayhawk air, and there was three runners left on base. After two and a half, one nothing Linden. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. The Linden Lions lead 1-0, bottom of the third. Great pitching right there by Kai. Had a rough, rough, rough spot. Great defense by Owen Rasmussen in the left field. Great, great plays. Great crowd tonight. Beautiful Friday night. Hope you're all enjoying your Friday evening. It's a good one here at Bellingham. Now batting for Bellingham, the left fielder, number 14, Owen Rasmussen. Rass with great defense. Ball high in the eyes. One ball, no strikes. Ooh, that was low. Ball two. Nope, one, sorry, <laughs> one, one. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Stapleton rocks and fires inside for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Ball high, gonna run him full. Full count, three balls, two strikes, tapes, rocks and fires, outside for ball four, leadoff. A leadoff walk is what we needed. Reese, right? Now batting for Bellingham, the right fielder, number 17, Reese Fickland. Rasmussen at first. Outside for ball one. Squared around a bunt. Had the third baseman crash, and Carroll was coming hard. One ball, no strikes on Ficklin, the right fielder. That was... That was yeah, they had a little, they had a little, yeah, a lot of movements right there. They had that second baseman crashing hard, and luckily enough, luckily enough, Rass stayed tight. They're calling it. Huh, oh, Reese, here we go. One ball, no strikes. Simonson, Stapleton comes around a bunch. Nope. Ball. Ficklin comes around a bunch. Second baseman's coming hard. More if they run a butcher boy or something like that, that's where he pulls back and slap bunts like the girls do. He's in big trouble. Rock and fire, swing and a miss. 
And I'll tell you, that second baseman's playing even with the shortstop or with the pit, with the pitcher. Yeah, they're going to leave him there. Oh, he got under the tag. He got under the tag. They tagged him in the head. He got under. They're still trying to run that deep play. This Linden team, very, very well managed. You got you to gotta just like the way White does it. Unless you're playing against him. <laughs> then you don't like it. Two balls, two strikes. We need to get Rast the second, so let's do it right here. He's safe. Simonson over there at first. He's a pretty good sized young guy. Two balls, two strikes. An excuse me swing for ball three, but it was a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Reese is ready. Foul ball. Had a little run and shoot going. <laughs> Hit and run. Run it, run it, run it, shoots football. I'm just joking. Just in case there's any football guys out there. As the Raiders, we used to run the run and shoot here, okay? Two balls, two strikes. No outs. Rasmussen at first. Ficklin at the plate. Thrower to first base, and Rasmussen safe. Stapleton's ready, rocks, and fires. There goes Ras. Oh, Ras. He's in there. Strike three called on Ficklin. Doesn't swing, but we've got Rasmussen moved to second base. Now batting number nine, the pitcher, Kai Nelson. Kai Nelson steps to the plate with a runner in scoring position, exactly what the Bayhawks need right at this moment. Stableton's ready. He looks and checks the runner. Hard hit ball to the shortstop. A little bobble by the shortstop. Long throw. They get Kai at first, but they move Owen to third. Now batting the catcher, number one, Joe Harward. Big Joe's up. Or medium-sized Joe if Ann Ingrid's out there listening. Hey, thanks, everybody, for listening to us all around. I know we got the Deming Speedway going on, Friday night races. So all of our family that's out there, everybody, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, hope you're listening to us in downtown Acme, Washington. Joe Harward steps to the dish, and here we go. Pops him up, left side. There's a play right there, maybe. Oh, and Matthew Carroll makes a circus grab for out number three. No runs on, no hits, no, no errors, and one runner left on base after three complete. It's Linden one, Bellingham nothing. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. Linden won, Bellingham nothing, going to the top of the fourth inning. Batting for Linden, number 10, the catcher, Thomas. Tristan Thomas steps to the plate. Come on.
No balls, no strikes, of course, because he's a leadoff guy. <laughs> Guy's ready. Top of the fourth inning. Guy Nelson on the bump. Good curveball right there for strike one. No balls, one strike. How many is he at? Brock. 59 pitches. Here comes number 60 right here. No balls, one ball. Little high in the eyes. Tristan's not a very big guy. He's built kind of like a catcher. There's a pop-up right side. They're trying to make a play over there. Yeah, there we go. The kid makes a play. One out. Number five, the first baseman, Simonson. Lane Simonson steps to the dish. This guy can rake. Everybody better be awake. I know, man. I'm rhyming. Swing and a miss on the curveball for strike one. No balls, one strike. Simonson, seriously, he can rake. Wasn't trying to rhyme. Be funny. But I am. There's a great pitch. First strike, two. No balls, two strikes. Kai Nelson, he bows his neck when he gets to these really good hitters and goes after him. I'll just tell you, we got real lucky last inning. It wasn't a merry-go-round. Hard hit ball, right side. Jesse Harward slides himself over. He calls it. He's about behind the pitcher's mound. Makes the catch for out number two. Kind of scaring me with that one-handed stuff, the Ole stuff. His papa wouldn't be real happy with him dropping that one. Number three, the center fielder, Tolzma. Strike. There we go. Kai getting in a little bit of a rhythm right now. Two outs. Ooh, good pitch right there. Two strikes, no balls. Two strikes, two outs, foul tip against the screen. No balls, two strikes. Ooh, ball one, one ball, two strikes. That was right there. That was that was a strike. Austin watched it go right on by, and Kai threw hard. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, twos across the board. Need a little bit of defense right here and get out of this inning and come back and try to see if we can rally, not leave a guy hanging at third. Popped up right side. Jesse's going to try to make chase to it. That's out of play. That's a Lewis Autoglass foul ball moment. Make sure you go for any of your home glass needs. It's getting to be springtime, time to change that stuff up. Go out there to Lewis Auto Glass, Bellingham, Linden, and Mount Vernon. Two balls, two strike pitch. Hard ground ball to Good Buffalo. He scoops it up in the belly, throws it across the diamond to Jesse Harward. Boom, makes the catch for out number three. Good job right there by Good Buffalo. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base after three and a half. Linden won, Bellingham nothing. Let's go, Bayhawks. Make this your inning. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park, Bellingham, Washington, the home of the Bellingham Bayhawks, and we're ready for the bottom of the fourth inning. I'm going to be led off by number 34, Joe Toof, stepping to the plate for the Bayhawks in the bottom of the fourth inning. The center fielder, number 34, Joe 
Toof. Joe and these guys can rake. We're in the raking part of our order. Let's go. Ball high. Stapleton. How many pitches is he at? 37 pitches, and that's a ball for number 38. Not many. Not many. We got to have them pitch more. Two balls, no strikes. Popped up left side, could be troubled. Carroll's over, trying to make the play. Foul ball. That was close. <laughs> Two balls, one strike. That was inches right there. I mean, literally, that was down the line. That was a close, close call. Langstrat made a long run. Carroll was there trying to bust it up. Two balls, one strike on the twofer. Ball. 31. Three balls, one strike on Joe Toof, the center fielder, the master of the outfield out there. Stapleton winds and fires. Oh, it's a base hit up the middle. That's going to die. Oh, it carried right to the center fielder. He was placed perfectly for that one. That was a line drive, too. Joe Toof got robbed right there. Great defensive placement. Austin out there in center field just tracking it down in the right spot. The DH, number seven, Jake Truce. Ball outside. Uncle Mike's doing all sorts of jobs tonight. <laughs> doing the dishes. My phone's dead. Man, can't get a charge. No, no, it's not. Does it? Yeah, that's there you go. Outside for ball two. Yeah, it doesn't mean nothing. It's so dead it won't charge. <laughs> two balls, no strikes on Jake. Jake gets it a hit up the middle. That dies. That's a base hit. There we go. We're rattling a couple together right there because Tufers was a really nice swing of the bat, too. Now batting for Bellingham, the first baseman, number 25, Jesse Harward. Just rip it. Ooh, an excuse me swing, protecting his eyeballs right there for a foul ball. Strike one. Jake Truce at first. Jesse Harward at the dish. Nice base hit last time by Jesse. And as we were teasing him before the game, he was overdue like a library book. Whatcom County Library was coming back looking for their library books because he was so overdue. Coach Thomas and I were giving him a hard time. One ball, one strike. One out. Jake gets back. They love to throw to first base. They love to run those crazy plays. And Coach White is really good at them. They practice them. I mean, they're really good at it. They have a great program out there in Linden. Ooh, a strike on the curveball. One ball, two strikes on Big Red. One out. Need a little drive right here. Should be. Ah, oh, hit the ball to the second baseman. That could be trouble. He looks to second. Oh, and Jesse doesn't make it. Fielder's choice. Moves the runner over. Now batting the third baseman, number 11, Eli Good Buffalo. Jake moves to second base. Jesse, ground ball, hard hit, ground ball to the second baseman. Eli Good Buffalo steps to the plate. Foul ball, hard foul ball. No balls, one strike, two outs.
Jesse doing his job right there. He's hitting the ball to the right side. He's not going to like it because he didn't get through. <laughs> He's making contact. No balls, one strike. Outside for a ball. Now let me just tell you something, fans. If you think this is an easy sport, it's not. That ball's moving somewhere between 75 and 90 miles an hour out of that pitcher's hands, and you're trying to hit it with a round baseball bat. A round ball, round bat, not a good combination. Out, ooh, outside corner called, strike two. One ball, two strikes on Eli Good Buffalo. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth inning, one nothing Linden. Make sure it's almost prom time. Make sure you're down there at Bell Bridal getting yourself a tuxedo or a beautiful dress. Swing and a miss by Good Buffalo for strike three. He's out. No runs, one Bellingham hit, no Linden errors, and one runner left on base after four complete. It's, Belli it's Linden one, Bellingham nothing. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park, and boy, oh boy, I've never been so happy to see Mr. Rasmussen show up. I no longer have to do the PA address announcers stuff. I just go ahead and do my stuff. Here we go. Jaden Oak leads us off. Top of the fifth inning. Bayhawks have played a fairly good ball game. There's a strike for a, a curveball for a strike. And I mean fairly good because we've had a couple, the one run, it should be 0-0 zero, zero is what I'm thinking. Ball in the dirt. And what I mean by that is fly balls in the infield need to be caught, making little mistakes. Got a new short stop there. Ball low. In front. Two balls, one strike. But this is the thing that I really, really like. Youngsters all throughout this thing. They're, the whole left side of the infield is youngsters. Sophomore, sophomore, freshmen. Sophomore, sorry. Sophomore, sophomore, sophomore. Two balls, two strikes. Good Buffalo at third, sophomore. Owen Hanstead, shortstop, sophomore. Eric Hellfield at second base, sophomore. Big Red, senior, Joe, behind the plate, sophomore. Ball four. Mm, Good-looking pitch was a strike for the last one. Kai Nelson on the bump, sophomore. That was right there. Strike zone's changing. Left fielder's a senior. Center fielder's a senior. Right fielder's a sophomore. If he does, it's going to not be good. I'll just tell you, I hope the AD's still here. No balls, no strikes, no outs. Runner at first base, leadoff guy's there. Good bunt. First base side. Kai picks it up. Throws to Jesse for out number one. Next up for Linden, number 18, Gordy Bellington. Gordy Bellington steps to the plate. Moves the runner over to second. Gordy's ready. They're going to keep moving right here. They worked on bunt coverages here before the ball game. 
I don't know if that's always a great idea. <laughs> now they're going to go back. Owens keeping him tight at second. Outside for a ball. I'll tell you, they're going to try to push that runner over to third base. That's what they do. Move guys around. Small ball, any way they can. Hard hit ball, center field. The tooth should be there. The tooth express comes up, does no great throw right there. Knock it down. He was saying, please go. Matthew Carroll steps to the plate for out number two. Two outs. Carroll's at the plate. Big lead at second. Kai's taking a good look. Won't go. Joe blocks it. Great block by Joe right there. That runner's talking about going. One ball, no strikes. Two outs. Big lead at second. Kai's watching him. The kid's there. Ball hit hard down the right field line. Foul. That's a Lewis Auto Glass foul ball moment for any car or home replacement from a foul ball. Call Lewis Auto Glass. Bellingham, Linden, and Mount Vernon. Place on State Street, man. It's the original one. Been there for 300 years, I think. Not quite. False advertising. Foul ball. Good job by Kai. Bell Bridles, another one of our new sponsors. We'd like to welcome them to the program. Bell Bridle, downtown Fairhaven. Yeah, I said Fairhaven. They're on the south side. Scoreboard just went blank. That's normal. One ball, two strikes. Bell Bridle, get all your tuxedos and beautiful dresses there. Ground ball, the kid. The kid picks it up, makes a long pass, toss over to Jesse, and Jesse makes a great stretch. Holy cow. I hold my breath every time that happens. No runs on no hits. There was no Bellingham airs, and there was one Linden Lion left on base. After four and a half, still one nothing. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Mr. Rasmussen is playing music. It's a big time Paul Park now instead of when I'm running the show. <laughs> the kid steps to the plate to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. Eric Hellfield. Good defensive play. Steps to the dish. We need a little bingo, bango, bongo, string a couple together. There's a hit. That's going to fall. Base hit right there. There we go, the kid. Base hit for the kid. Owen Rasmussen stepping in the dish. And Owen saved two runs on defense in that left field and crashed into that fence. It was a scary situation for a second. Scoreboard's out again. <laughs> Just kidding. No. Good lead by Eric. Strike called. Good lead by the kid at first. Get back, kid. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Hand grenades and horseshoes, you're exactly right. Or maybe kissing your sister. No, I don't want to do that. Ooh, that was a good pitch right there. 
No balls, two strikes. We might need to make Brock's mic go live one day just so you can hear what I hear in my ear. <laughs> All this beautiful equipment, and you don't hear him. He doesn't want to be on the microphone. Big lead by Eric at first. Outside pitch for ball one. Good waste pitch right there. Stapleton still just dealing it out there. Doing a great job. One ball, two strikes. The kid gets back. Tagged him in the rear end. One ball, two strikes. We don't count the throwovers, but Staples had a, had a few. High ball, two. Two balls and two strikes. I, it, Little League, they used to make us count those. Well, not as pitches, but you had to count how many times they threw to first. 2-2 two, two pitch. Foul ball. Way to battle, Rass. Way to battle. Foul ball, and you heard it right against the wood. Two balls, two strikes. Beautiful Friday night right here in beautiful Bellingham, Washington. Not a cloud sight. Ball high up against the helmet right there, right under the bill of the helmet. Three balls, two strikes. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. It's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a nice weekend. 52 degrees right here in the bottom of the fifth inning. There's a swing and a fly ball right side that could be catchable. That's out of play. There we go. Another Lewis Autoglass foul ball moment. We're going to have to come up with something for the formal wear shop, Bell, Bell Bridal. Three balls, two strikes. Outside for ball four, and that was close. Luckily enough, his his strike zone has changed. Now, coming to the plate, as you heard, Mr. Rasmussen, Reese Ficklin steps to the dish. one nothing, Linden. No outs. As our friend Eddie would say, the Bayhawks have got runners in scoring position. Yeah, got to pay attention. Got to, got to pay attention. Tricky little fellas, these Linden Lions are. Runner. Yeah, here we go. Oh, he called him safe. And he would have been out. Holy cow. He had him hanging out to dry. That was close. And you know that you know that Corey White's going to be out there and he's going to argue about it. We were just talking about it. His hand was under. His hand was under. Boy, oh boy, you knew they were going to put something on right there. And that was ran to a T right there. His hand was under. Oh, he's going to come and ask for help. This is scary right here to ask for help right here. Still safe. After asking for help, he got under the tag. Reese Ficklin's in. Yeah, they're coming. Pay attention. Be smart right here, Bayhawks. They're going to be tricky as can be. They run everything under the sun. There's a reason why this team plays in the state finals many, many, many times in the last 10 years. Here they come. Reese bunts it. Great bunt. Great bunt. Safe. Yeah, safe at third. That's a base hit. Great play right there. That first baseman was coming hard. Coming hard right there. Corey White's got to be just reeling. Kai Nelson comes to the plate. The leadoff guy with no outs. Kai Nelson. He could give you a little bingo, bango, bongo right here, Brock. Ooh, he wanted it too. One strike on Kai. Let that one go. Bases are juiced. You never know. These guys are always going to put a play on. You got to watch them. Strike two on the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. Great frame again.
Bases are juiced. No balls, two strikes for Kai. The Linden Lions swing and a miss. Strike three. One out. Catcher comes up. Jo JoJo Dancer's coming to the plate right here. He's the right guy in the right spot. Joe's ready. He's overdue as well for a base hit this game. He calls time, steps out of the box. Base hit right here is going to score a couple runs and, and put the Bayhawks ahead. We got to come up with a rally right now. Base is loaded. There's a strike. Now he's ready. Good feet. No balls, one strike. Ball in the dirt. They're going to try to make Joe chase one. One ball, one strike, one out, and number one at the plate. Stapleton rocks and fires. Foul ball on Joe. A little behind him. One ball, two strikes. Got to be a dad there for a minute. No apologies. <laughs> Stapleton rocks and fires. High for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Wanted to see if the medium medium sized Joe would chase that, and he did not. We need we need a little bingo right here. Because the bango bongo will come. Outside pitch. Three balls, two strikes on Joe. Bases are loaded. A walk's an RBI. Foul ball. He's right on him. Right on him. Come on. You're right on it. Let's go. Three balls, two strikes. Three balls, two strikes. One out. Joe hit a bunch before the ball game. Was here really early. Ah, way to battle. Way to battle. Another another foul ball. Now we're making the Stapleton kid throw a few pitches. You gotta like that. Three balls, two strikes, bases are juiced. Stapleton is ready. He's checking the runners. Rocks and fires in the dirt. Ball four. That's an RBI right there. Great at bat by Joe. Gotta like that. Where you been? <laughs> I hear you. All right, one out. Tie ball game, one to one against the number one team. Step into the plate, the center fielder, Joe the Tooth. Boo! Wow, he can hit one deep somewhere. One out. Bases are loaded. Come on, Joe. Popped it up. Get out of here. Get out of here. Heads up. Heads up. Oh, nice hands. Glad to see he's an athletic director. No balls, one strike. Side. There's a hard hit ball, base hit, that gets down. Nice job, one run scores. And they hold the runner, oh, he's got to get back. He gets back to third. No, 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 stay there, stay there. Yeah, little deke by Carroll, and it's not good enough. Ficklin stays there on the bag, and we score another run by a Joe Tooth slapper to right field. Jake Truce comes to the plate. Times called by Corey White. You know it. These Linden guys aren't used to having guys whack the ball a little bit on them. Two to one, Bellingham. Fifth inning. Woo-hoo! 
Ooh, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Timeout's been, the tea party has broke up by the umpire. Says Corey White, he's going to take as long as he can out there. Stapleton's still on the bump. How many pitches is he at now, Brock? 75. We moved him up a little bit. I like it. Up the meter. Jake True steps the plate. One out. Oh, that was high. Oh, that was in the eyes, but he called it a strike. Boy, Thomas is just a great catcher. Rolls that glove down. No balls, one strike. In on the hands for ball. One ball, one strike. If we could get one more right now, that could be some great insurance. Because I can guarantee you these Linden Lions, they're going to battle. Sorry, everybody. Didn't mean to scream in your ear. I apologize. I hope I didn't scare the baby of the cat. Oh, boy. I, I, Uncle Mike's a little wound up tonight. I'm not kidding you. You know, I had too many things going on. I had a, had, had a monster drink before, before the game. Bases are loose. Oh, bases are juicy. <laughs> exactly. Two ball. I can't even talk right. Two balls and one strike. One out. And I'll just tell you, this Linden team is a tough, tough team. So you can't give them anything. you got to keep battling. Two balls, one strike. Stapleton is just throwing a gem tonight. There's a ground ball. Back to Stapleton. He bounces off his glove. Could be trouble. He's there. Oh, but they score the run. They got Jake at first. But they score the run. Three to one. With two outs, brings the plate number 25, Jesse Harward. Two outs. Ah, they're going to put him on. You knew that was coming. Intentional walk, Intentional walk by Jesse Harward. They're going to put him on. Eli Good Buffalo steps to the dish. Tom. Calls time out. He's talking to Eli. I don't know what he's saying to him other than, son, relax. Take it easy. Tom Lewis is so good with these guys. I'm not kidding you. He just does a great job. Uh, we have been so blessed to have him and and. Jeff Nelson and Adam Leonard come to our fold here and coach with us and be a part of us. Eli Good Buffalo is in there. Young guy. Brought him up from the JV. Had a couple injuries. And he's here in a big spot right now. Swing and a miss on the curveball. And he loves fastballs. So I'll tell you, Corey White's probably scouted this out. Another outside pitch. Nope, no go by Ficklin. One ball, one strike. These Linden Lions, I can't give enough respect for them just in the way they're coached. I mean, they are just managed very, very well. They are, they are put together. They back up everything. Simonson came all the way from first base to back up that throw behind the pitcher, coming back from the catcher so that guy at third won't score. Swing and a miss by Good Buffalo. One ball, two strikes. Breathe, relax. I always say that, but that's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to take a deep breath and relax. One ball, two strikes on Good Buffalo. Outside. He didn't. He wanted that one and he didn't chase it. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Number 11 to the plate. Great block right there. By the catcher. 
Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases are juiced. Good Buffalo to the plate. Come on, Eli, give us a wrap. Popped him up. That's trouble. Foul ball. Wind picks up, kind of pushing a little more. This direction from the first base side. I don't know. It just came, came out of nowhere. Yeah. Everybody exhaled. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. High for ball three. Three balls, two strikes, and the kid on deck. The kid. <laughs> Nothing but youngsters here. This is great experience for these young men right here. Everybody going to be moving, so let's watch out make sure there's nothing funny going on. Outside. Oh, strike three on the outside corner to end the inning. Three runs for the Bayhawks on three hits. There was no Linden errors. There was three runners left on base. We can't do that against a team like this and win. But right now, we're ahead 3-1 to one after five complete. We'll be back with the top of the sixth right after this. Welcome back to Bayhawk Park. Whew, what a half an inning. Kai Nelson's still on the bump for the Bayhawks, and he's doing a great job. Now he's got a little bit of a cushion. Three to one Bellingham against a very, very, very tough, I will not die type of Linden team. Hey, make sure you get to. Did they? Uh, 86 pitches for the Linden Stapleton pitcher. And that's what we need. We're at 84 with Kai Nelson and the sixth. So that's good. Bell Bridal and JB Formal Wear. Those are the places you need to go. It's prom nights right around the corner for all you Bayhawk folks. Get yourself dressed beautiful by all the great folks down there at Bell Bridal and JB Formal Wear. Cooper Moore steps to the plate. Top of the sixth inning. I don't think Linden thought they'd be in this spot. The Bayhawks have been battling for this whole entire week. I mean, like I said, at the beginning of the week, it's hell week. We had Anacortes at the beginning of the week. We had O'Carver in the middle of the week, and now we end the week with Linden. Ball one in the dirt. Out there in listening distance. You've got to be cheering for this Kai Nelson kid. He has absolutely left everything he has on that bump right there. Great crowd. Linden side's always a great crowd. They were here an hour and a half early. <laughs> There's a strike right there. Two balls, one strike. Bellingham side's full Linden side's full. People sitting outside the right field fence watching. Popped up right side. Jesse's making trace. That's out of play. That is a what? Foul Lewis ball. Autoglass foul ball moment. Get down there and meet the owner. The guy has been in the business for years. It's a family business. The owner is out there on the streets of Bellingham cleaning graffiti off the building on State Street. Get down there, Bellingham, Linden, Mount Vernon, Lewis Autoglass, been in the, in the community forever. Hard hit, fly ball, left field, center field. There's Toof, makes the play. Joe Toof with a long out for out number one. River Langstrat steps to the plate. One out. Sun's kind of falling behind the school. You can still see the shadow. Shadow between the pitcher and the catcher is nothing but shadow. First base is shadowed. Third base, shortstop, and second base, left field, 
and center field is still in the sun. So you still got to battle. You do not, and I still have mine on. Oop, and Nelly just hit Langstrat. That's tough. Trying to throw that curveball. Tristan Thomas, the catcher. <laughs> Oxymoron? Or I'm just a moron. Yeah, a little bit of both. There we go. Kai's ready. Hard throw over to first base. They're going to move the runner around. Ooh, ball. One ball, no strikes. Popped up. Somebody's got to come and get it. This is where trouble's been. Toof is coming. He's coming in. He makes the play. Ho, 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 ho. He called off. He called off the kid, and he came a long ways to make that play. That senior wants it. First baseman, Lane Simonson. Wow. Wow, sixth inning. That was a ball, and that was close. He's a tall drink of water. One ball, no strikes. Oh, got him. Yeah. He's going to be, Jesse tagged him. He tagged him in the head. Jesse walks away. Hard tag by Jesse. But what are you going to do? You're going to soft tag him? Brothers are out there talking. Who's the kid at first base? I don't have my cheat sheet anymore. Yeah, number seven, Langston. Everybody's going to take a knee? Nope. Joe's out talking to Kai. Jesse moved away. Got tagged in the head. Yeah. And they're saying that he tagged him in the stomach. Everybody on the linen sideline, they're all right on the edge of the right on the edge of the dugout right there. Oh, he's gonna talk to Jesse about tagging too hard. Tom's out there now talking. They talked to, they all got together and talked to Jesse. Jesse's talking to Kai. Kai's going to go over and apologize. Yeah, the other two might go a little ballistic. They got a pinch runner. The shadow's moving over toward the Bayhawk in the middle of the field. Eight. Yeah, I, I didn't do it. Okay, here we go. Two outs. Runner at first. Big lead. Foul ball. One ball, one strike. Might have to take my sunglasses off here. Now the shadow's gone. I got them all right here. I came prepared. Nelly's ready. He rocks and fires. Good block by Joe. Two balls, one strike. Oh, 
That was my glass case you just heard. Two balls, one strike <laughs> coming across the microphone. That's real professional. I haven't done this in a long time. Hard hit, fly ball, foul. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. This is it right here. You got to come and get it. This young fella here can rake. <laughs> I've said that. But he can rake. 2-2, two, two, high for ball three. Three balls, two strikes. Hey, block the ball right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner takes a big lead at first. Swing and a miss, strike three. Kai Nelson makes him strike out. Holy cow. What a pitch. That'll bring us to the bottom of the sixth inning coming right your way. No runs, no hits, no Bayhawk airs, and one Linden Lion left on the bag. We'll come back for the bottom of the sixth right after this. Welcome back. Big, big top of the sixth inning to strike it out the side for Kai Nelson. He's at 99 pitches. New pitcher for Linden, Matthew Carroll. Gordy Bellington goes to third. Leading out for Bellingham in the bottom of the sixth inning, number six, Eric Hellfield. Eric Hellfield steps to the plate. The kid, does that look like three out there in right field? Okay, you're good? Okay. All right, just making sure. 42's in center field. All right. We don't have names of these subs because we didn't take, I mean, and the Linden scorecard is beautiful. I mean, it looks like a college scorecard. All right, the kid's up facing Matthew Carroll, who's got more junk than anybody you can think of. Ball one. Big situation, big save situation for Matthew Carroll right here. Linden will have one more at bat. Outside, ball two, two balls and no strikes on the kid. Two balls, no strikes. Matthew Carroll, like I said, he's a great young man. Great community guy. I mean, I just absolutely think the world of him. Uh, and he's a kid that works so hard in his craft. And you've heard me throughout my broadcast talking about guys that spend a lot of time. This kid spends a lot of time. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Great pitch right there by Matty. Two balls, two strikes. I mean, in the offseason, I mean, he loves to play basketball, but he's always loving baseball. I'll just tell you that. And it shows right here. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Fastball. The Carroll. Owen Rasmussen, he's going to help his own cause right here because this kid did a great job in left field tonight. Defensive gem. Outside, gets through the pitcher's, the catcher's leg. She's right there. One ball, no strikes. Thought we were going to have a coach's corner. <laughs> Flip it around. 
Oh, Rass with a foul ball right off the catcher's face mask. One ball, one strike. Coach Leonard came out, thought we were having a coach's corner, thought it was football season. 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Oh, and Rasmussen tanks one to the left center field. Oh, and that center fielder's got some great range for out number deuce. Reese Ficklin, the right fielder, steps in. We're in a good spot right there. Rass got all that one in the left field. Great crowd, like I said. Got people hanging out in right field all the way down the line down there. Carroll, he gets in a groove, and he's going to come and get you. No balls, one strike on Reese Ficklin, and he's going to quick pitch you. Ground ball, right side. He runs hard. Second baseman gets there, makes the throw. Oh! Out at first. Great hustle. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. After six complete innings, it's the Bellingham Bayhawks three, the Linden Lions one. Yeah, that's what Uncle Mike said, three to one. Here comes the top of the seventh, and Kai Nelson is coming back to the bump with 99 pitches under his belt. Let's go, Bayhawks. Get yourself a beverage, and let's make it three quick outs because it's almost dinner time. I'll be right back. All right, I can't tell you that I'm a little nervous right now, all right? I'm more nervous than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Kai Nelson has thrown a gem tonight, folks. I mean, an absolute gem. Joe goes out, gives him a little. Jesse comes, gives him a little love. They're giving it to him right now. He's got 99. He's got six pitches. Six pitches left in his arsenal. Austin Tolsma steps to the plate with. There's a strike by Kai Nelson. Kai wants this. I'm not kidding you. I mean, every one of these Bayhawk boys want it because, like I said, it's been a long week. They're working for a playoff spot. They're trying to work hard. That's hit hard. That could be a base hit. No, there's Reese Ficklin for out number one. Hard hit ball right there for a, a long out. One out. Jaden Oaks steps to the plate. Number 15, the left fielder. 101. 101 for Kai. Here we go. We're all in the shadow now, and I've got my sunglasses off. There is a. Oh! <laughs> Whew. That was close. Ball one. That was low. That was outside, ball two. Kai has had, like I said, just pitched a, a gem. Swing and a miss, strike one. That's these Linden guys. They're not going to make him take pitches. They're going to swing the bat because that's what they've done all season long. That's why they're champions. Two balls, one strike. Popped it up, right side. Jesse's going over to the right side. He's there. He makes the catch for out number two. Is that 105? 104. 105. Timeout is being called. Tom is going to make a move out to the bullpen. 105 pitches by Kai Nelson with two outs. You got to stand up and give him a hand. Holy cow. Joe goes and gives him a great big hug. That's unbelievable. Kai Nelson, what a job he has done. That's uh, that's awesome right there. 
No, Kai's going to go to shortstop, I guarantee you. Great job, Jesse, and everybody's going over to Kai right now to get my hug. <laughs> and I'll tell you, when Big Red hugs you, you know he's hugged you. All right, he is like, <laughs> he's like a grizzly bear <laughs> giving you a hug. But he gives, they give Kai a hug. In relief, Owen Rasmussen. And this kid deserves this spot right here. I'm not kidding you. He deserves it. And the reason why is because he has pitched his living, loving butt off every time he stepped on the mound. And it's his turn right here. I'll take a little break. Talk to the people that are yelling at me behind me, my wife. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, they were asking questions about who's at bat. They're at the top of their order right now, right? Stapleton, the guy that pitched a, a gem, is at the plate. Rass is taking his pitches. Infield is getting back together. Hunter Bryant Pearson came in uh, to, for left field. Kai Nelson goes to shortstop, like I said. Good Buffalo is still at third. The kid is still at second. Jesse Harwood still at first. Right field is Reese Ficklin, who's done a great job, and of course, the anchor in center field, Joe Tooth. 42, Stapleton. Stapleton comes to the plate, top of the order for Linden. This is the crunch meat, ki killer's row, murderer's row, whatever you want to call it, right here for Linden against Owen Rasmussen. And we're ready. Hold your breath or not. Swing and a miss. Strike one. No swing. He looked, that was a called strike. Oh, and it's got to be juiced up worse than I am on that monster that I drank earlier today. Popped up. This could be it right here. Toof has got it. That's the ball game, and Bellingham has just upset the Linden Lions. Holy cow. You've got to love a little bit of Bayhawk love right there. Folks, that is high school baseball at its finest. A great ball game, a great game pitched by... Kai Nelson, Owen Rasmussen comes in and does a great job. You got to give these guys a great round of applause. You got to be cheering at home. Great job by the Bayhawks. Holy cow. Next game is Tuesday at Ferndale High School, and you'll be on the air with Uncle Mike and my sidekick, Brock. Holy cow, what a ball game. It's release the air, breathe a little bit. What a ball game by the Bayhawks. And those Linden Lions, we'll face them again, I'm pretty sure, somewhere down the road. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening all across the country. I wasn't able to give my shout-outs. I don't have to shout-out to Grandpa Leonard because he's standing right here next to me, <laughs> not down there in Vegas soaking up the sunshine. He's right here soaking up the sunshine in beautiful Bellingham, Washington. Thanks, everybody, for listening to us and watching us. What a ball game. Keep this one. Watch it again. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Let us know what we did and what we didn't do. We sure appreciate you. We love you. This is Uncle Mike saying good night now. Yeah.